In this video we're going to look at uh, getting the menu set up and to work out what our menu needs to say we're going to come back to the beginning of the task and so here are the options we need to display and then essentially what we're going to do is um, if the user's typed in an A then we'll go and call option A because we've written those um, so let's have a quick go at doing that. So having done all of our other functions We'll make our menu function a separate separate function over here. Uh, we don't need to give it any um, information, I don't think. Uh, and we're going to start off by printing a welcome message and then printing um, the information required. So I'll just pause this while I do that. So I've uh, created my menu just by using print and the uh, three quotes at the beginning and then the three quotes and closing the bracket for print at the end and then inside there I've just typed in uh, what I want the me menu to look like um, and then I've just asked for some input from the user um, so we can write another function which uh, deals with making sure that the input is always a b c or q um, so we can definitely uh, do that but I'm just going to start off by assuming that the um, the uh, choice that the user makes is a valid one and so now we can very straightforwardly say things like well if choice if what they've typed in is a so I might want to convert what they've done into a lowercase but if they've typed if what they've typed in is an a then there's a few things that we want to be able to do so um, option A is the kind of um, uh, most complicated um, in the menu setup over here so what we'd like to do is um, get hold of a fixture number and the reason we want to do that is because we can't actually call option A until we have a fixture number um, and then the second thing we want to do, so I'm just putting that in as some um, options here. Then we want to call um, option A, which is our function, with that number. So whatever number the user types in, that's what we want to do. Um, if the choice is B, this is very straightforward, then all we're going to do is we're going to call option B. Option B doesn't take anything in, which is great for us. Um, if the choice is equal to C, then what we're going to do is we're just going to call option C, because option C displays the leaderboard. And the last one is if choice is Q, then what we want to do is we want to um, uh, return basically we want to uh, stop doing this so this is going to let's just put a comment in to say how we're going to deal with that then um, leave this function that's really what we're going to try and do is leave the function now this needs to uh, so um, Let's just clarify a couple of things at the moment. So I, I can't run it because uh, this is probably going to give me a syntax error because I need to say what's going to happen if somebody types in A. So at the moment, let's just say that we will call option A and it will always call it with um, a number like so. Um, and this one, for the moment, what we'll do is we'll just say, okay, well, uh, return. So return usually leaves a function. So we're assuming that this uh, function is uh, the one that we want to quit. So that's how we're going to write that bit. Um, and then we want to keep going round and around. Um, so what, we're what we'll do here is we will just say, okay, well, menu itself is just going to call the menu function. So therefore, return makes sense because return will leave this uh, particular uh, function 
so it will drop out completely and it won't call this line here so the reason we've got that line right at the the end is because it's going to go round and round um, and so this is how our main program is going to run so let's just write a um, main program and the way we write our main program is we just call menu so this line here is going to call our menu function this line here makes this keep going round and round so it's going to keep displaying this um, so then you might think well if you're in let's say option B because we know option B finishes and you come down here and you do all of the printing then do I need to come over here and say go back to menu well absolutely not you do not need to do that because what happens is every time a function is called and it finishes running so let's say we called option B so here we were at menu and we called option B and so when we called this what it would do is it would come up here and do this and then it will do the last line and then it finishes and it says okay I've finished what do I do now well I just go back to wherever the code was that called me so it will now come down to line 96 and then carry on doing the next bit and because the option you chose was B it will then say oh well it wasn't C so I won't do that it wasn't Q so I won't return leaving this function and so what I'm going to do is do the next line here which is menu which means go away and display this so that's why we don't have to go underneath each of these functions and say okay when you finish running call menu so that's how it should work um, and let's save it and run it and make sure it does exactly what we're expecting it to so um, here it is printed out so let's just make this a little bit bigger so option A remember um, if I call it with just A it should just display the details for number three which is what we're calling it with and then it does the display of that and then it comes back to menu and if I call option B option B doesn't take anything it's just going to display all the outstanding ones so there it displays all of the outstanding tells me how many total are outstanding and then displays the menu again option C displays the leaderboard so there's my leaderboard so I need to sort out how it's formatted and printed uh, but here's my menu again um, so I can go back and display A and now choose Q to quit and that should drop out of the menu so all of that works um, which is great and now the only thing we need to worry about is getting hold of the fixture number for uh, this particular option to work which we could if we wanted to put it all in the whole of option A um, and in actual fact most of our functions are doing more than one thing really they are just getting hold of the data and then processing it and then printing it as well um, so we could put in the uh, uh, input into option A but um, what we might do is just think about how we can put it into a, a separate function so that we don't have to um, rearrange things here and we'll do that as part of the next video.